Ladies and gentlemen of the Ice Derf community, welcome to my updated um, Ice Derf collection. Uh, this is going to be a long one, so I recommend getting a cup of tea, getting a sandwich, and just chill out because, as you can see to my left, there is a lot of shit that I own that is Ice Derf related. Uh, but I will preface this saying that and there's, there is a few bits that I do own that I cannot find uh, Like VIP la lanyards and stuff like that But um, And begin, I don't know where to begin because I've got a bunch of shit But what I'm going to show you first I suppose is Just the patches I've got Now these are bootleg patches because I still don't make their own real actual legit patches But these patches, I've got quite a few of them I'm, I'm, I am in the process of planning a dedicated Ice Earth battle jacket or jacket, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, these should we will be adorning them at some point. But yeah, I've got quite a few of these. And we'll just uh, yeah, we'll just um, kick it off, I suppose. You know what I mean? So I got the self-titled artwork patch, Enter the Realm redone artwork patch, the uh, Reckoning EP patch. The Burnt Offerings Redone Patch. Yeah, Fairy uh, Armageddon. I'm not going to say patch after everyone because I'm sound an idiot. Glorious Burden. Box of the Wicked, which is quite an odd one actually to have a patch of. But uh, Days of Purgatory. Uh, something Wicked This Way Comes. Plays of Babylon. Probably one of my favourites. The quality on this is awesome. I really do like that one. It's looks really great. Um, uh, Night of the Storm Rider, as you do. <clears throat> uh, Tribute to the Gods, I just dropped it, I'm a twit. Um, horror Show, this is going to be a messy video, I can sense it now, guys. Uh, I will come on your EP. Crucible of Man, which me and Chuck have just recorded yesterday, so that should be up in the next week or so, so look forward to that. Uh, Dark Saga, one, Alive in Athens, and a Dystopia patch. I do have the odd, the odd kind of, un what I want to call the unique, unique patches, which are, um, this awesome triangle, uh, Night of the Storm on a patch. Uh, I do believe Adam Ortiz, I believe you've got one of these as well, but you're giving yours away to a friend of yours, that's awesome, but yeah. Awesome patch, guys. I, I, I love this. It's going to be on the like I'll, the front of my jacket. It's going to be quite minimal, so this is going to be on the front of my of my jacket, lot like on the chest piece somewhere. But yes, yeah, it's, it's killer. I love it. Uh, also, on the front piece will be this awesome uh, purgatory kind of era uh, ice surf patch. I think it's again, it's a bootleg, but it's pretty great. So yeah, um, it's going to be on my this piece, and uh, I've got this other bit that's going to go on the front, which is the ice earth logo in red. And on the back, um, for the back or portion, I've got this giant ice earth patch. Now, when it comes to the CDs, um, I've divided them into two piles: uh, into dual uh, digi packs, sorry, and jewel cases. So we're going to have quite a um, long kind of thing. Uh, but yeah. So digi packs. Um, I've got this really cool, really cool Ben Offerings digi pack um, produced by uh, Scarecrow Records under license. It's under license by Century Media, so it's just a wonderful um, collector's piece for me. Uh, I think it just looks awesome. It, it does look like a bootleg. I must say, it kind of has bootlegginess to it, but it also has um, official kind of on there as well, kind of official vibe, but the discs to me just look bootleg as all fuck, but we'll see, but yeah, Skeka Records, uh, they put this out, I do think it's, it's just a nice, just a nice piece, I just think the pack is really cool, I'm not really a big light, light truck, I'm not a massive fan of, uh, of um, digipacks, but I think this is quite an oddity that just didn't know came out and apparently from what I've seen on Discogs, not Discogs but what I've seen, um, they did put out a Night of the Storm Rider one as well, 
which is I've not seen ever, so like, I kind of want to get that one. But yeah, I do like this. It's pretty killer. Yeah, but my friends, I have the limited edition um, Dark Saga. Uh, yeah, Dark Saga. The purple disc, Dark Saga Digipack. Uh, it's limited. I believe it's limited to five, uh, ten thousand copies. I could be wrong, but I've got number four thousand and seventy-six. Yes. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I got this super cheap for about two quid, about four dollars, I suppose. But um, the, only, the only caveat is the disc is destroyed to people like it's scratched the shit. But I didn't buy it for the deal. I didn't buy it to play it. I bought it as part of my collection. So I'm glad to have that. It's pretty killer. The, uh, the two disc um, Days of Purgatory, I used to have this, uh, but my older version is just, or it was just destroyed, so uh, I ended up giving that away to a fan of the podcast, which was really cool. But this one's minty fresh, and I'm glad to have a nice minty, a minty fresh one in my collection. Um, this, I'm so happy to have this man, the JP Kipriani, if you're if you're watching this, I'm sure you are, man. But yeah, if you're watching this, man, I thank you so much for get, for sending me this. This is you, you, you're a dude, man. Like you didn't have to do that, but I, I appreciate your generosity. It's just, just the generosity of, of the community from my group is incredible. But yeah, um, the something we're going to play comes Digipack, my favourite album of all time. The other Digipack version never, never knew it existed until JP told me that. Um, it, it, it was a thing, so I'm like, wow, I need it. So um, the version, he did, the version he sent me did have a broken disc, but I've just replaced the disc. I had a spare copy of the album on dual uh, in the other uh, dual case version, so I just swapped the discs out. So I've just got an empty dual case version. Uh, I've got two dual case versions, but one's empty. But yeah, so yeah, thank you for this, JP. I really appreciate it. It's fucking awesome. Uh, another kind of thing I didn't know existed, well, I've, I've got the jewel case versions, but I've also got this really cool, kind of thin, um, the Digipack versions of Live in Athens. Uh, I do feel the, the, pr the glossy print on cardboard really makes the artwork pop with these Digipacks. I actually think this is the, my preferred way to own this, um, compared to the jewel case version. I think this is just really well, really nicely presented. And it has some of my favourite artwork across the entire catalogue. Yeah, like the discs look fucking great. It just it's just a beautiful box set, um, digipack version. And uh, I recommend everyone to hunt this down. Because I do believe um, it didn't come out in the UK, so I just had a jewel case, but I I hunted this down as soon as I knew it existed and it's just it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And it's one of the greatest live albums ever made, so you know, gotta have that. Oh god, there's gonna be a lot of repetition here guys because I'm obviously gonna show you show you stuff that um that I own like this but I've got the jewel case version as well but yeah anyway uh, horror show horror show digipack the one disc version because um and uh, I, I don't only have the jewel uh, the digipack version but I do have also the, I don't know if you called it, I said jewel pack didn't I, I'm a twat, I meant digipack, but um, I also got this kind of like book, I kind of like, like super digi or whatever you want to call it, uh, and it's actually the it's actually the two disc version with the awesome John Schaefer interview on it, but yeah this is worth heading, uh, mine doesn't, mine, it should, it should come with a, um, it should come with a, a outer sleeve, but mine didn't unfortunately. Uh, so I might have to rebuy this at some point and try to find it with the sleeve. So yeah, this is this really good version to have. Tribute to the Gods, my least favourite release by the bands. If you don't include Overture of the Wicked, so it's probably my second least favourite release on the, from the bands. Uh, don't listen to it very often at all. But you know, uh, did you pack off Tribute to the Gods? Uh, a lot of people like that one. Now I've included the single, uh, some of the, uh, most of the, the, the single with EPs in this Digipack list because they do, they've only come in Digipacks. Actually, yeah, actually a lie because I've got over to look at it also on the jewel case, so I'm lying there, twat. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, 
Reckoning EP uh, or single, depends on how you want to call it, what you want to call it. I suppose it's a single, really, isn't it? But yeah, um, it's got some of my. Again, it's just the artwork is outstanding, and uh, I think that with the release of Glorious Burden, they 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 artwork that Glorious Burden album is incredible. Speaking of Glorious Burden, I have the two disc special edition of Glorious Burden. Um, I've always liked this version because it's got the um, it's got the album with the blue logo and the silver outline. I just think it's killer. It just looks awesome. But yeah. Uh, yeah, speaking of, my least favourite release of the band, over to the Wicked, but they've butchered the Sophic Wicked trilogy, it just sounds sterile and god awful. <clears throat> and they changed the arrangements on certain songs like Prophecy, which really wound me up. It's meant to ramp up, and it doesn't, it just becomes a bore. Oh god, I'm not gonna run. I don't want to rant in this, guys, but you know, it's just annoying as fuck, man. Like, anyway, yeah, over to the Wicked, Gucci Pack EP. Premier Armageddon, uh, Digipack, uh, we've said a lot about this album, so I'm trying to, I, I'm, I'm trying to speed this up guys, because I, I tend to talk too much, but uh, yeah, um, I Will Come Among You EP, some really good room recordings of the framing stuff from Matt, great, great stuff, Crucible of Man, Digipack, this is how it came when it came out in the UK, um, I didn't really know about the Digipack. Uh, Dystopia limited edition version. I do have two ver two two versions of these. I have two two copies of these, um, and I'll show you why I have two copies of these. One is not signed, but the other one is signed, so that's always good. Uh, and my, I've got it so the booklet kind of flaps open and then you kind of, if, I, if it will let me bloody show it, uh, can you see that? That flap, that flap stops, you, can't, you kind of can see it, that um, it's signed there, but yeah, okay, my Stopia is signed from the first time I ever saw them, it was incredible, it was awesome. It was really good, guys. It was, it was like, like, um, God, really good. Like, holy shit. Um, so that's the one. That's my Digipacks. I do have a Digipack version of Blaze, Blaze of Babylon on its way. Ugh. Now, to my jewel cases, um, I've really got, I've obviously, I've got more jewel cases than actual records, but, um, than actual uh, dig Digipack releases. The um, original subtitled with the European artwork. Um, I found out this is not the actual original pressing. It's not the original press. It's actually a, um, a later press from like ninety, like a year later or something. Because uh, I've seen the original pressing and the actual logo is is across the front, rather than being in the corner there. But yeah, first album, the original artwork. Awesome, so awesome. Self-titled with the uh, two thousand and two remastered artwork. I still like the artwork. I think that's out of the three, that's probably the best looking remastered artwork out of the three uh, original albums. Uh, Japanese pressing of um, hor uh, horror show, um, Japanese pressing of Night of Storm Rider. It's got to be my probably my favourite artwork of any Storm Rider press. It just looks awesome. The the red eye surf logo looks amazing and. I don't have the Obi strip, unfortunately, which most Japanese versions come with. I think the disc looks badass, and I love the the spine with the with the Japanese lettering. It just looks awesome as well. So it's awesome. I love it. It's great. 2002 Storm Rider remastered version. Nothing much to say about that, really. Berton Friend's original cover from 1995. Um, I picked this up quite recently. I'm glad to have it. Finally, have it. The original, the original artwork. It's just, it's, it's the best artwork for that album. It sums it up so well. Yeah, um, horrible artwork. But the uh, 2002 remastered uh, Ben Offerings. The jewel case, two disc version of uh, Days of Purgatory. It's got a. It is, it is a two disc version. I know there's a one disc version out there that I need to still get, but um, 
from what I've hear, it's it's quite a uh, it's quite a hard one to get hold of. It opens that way. So to this version, dual coast stages, purgatory. I have two copies of Dark Saga. Don't ask me why. I just do. I'm not sure why I do, but yeah, two copies of Dark Saga. Oh, the only one thing about about this dark about the dark side, um, they both have the uh, the picture disc artwork, um, which is really awesome. Um, I know there's a I know my obviously the my uh, my picture pack had the had the uh, purple disc, but this one these 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 ones in particular have the uh, cool artwork on discs. Uh, one of my like everyone knows this is my favourite album of all time. But it made it even greater to me that I got it signed by John Schaefer at the Plague to Babylon show uh, on their tour there. Um, that was incredible to get him to sign that. I'm just, it made me the happiest man alive, man. It's fucking awesome. So yeah, uh, yeah. Something so it comes, very album of all time, run to death. Two disc version of Alive in Athens. Uh, so yeah, two disc version. Pretty, got it really cheap, so I don't think it's actually that expensive to get. The three disc digipack version of, not digipack, what am I saying? Dual case version of A Love Nothing. Um, not much to say about that, really. Uh, best love I've ever made. A very, um, this is this is interesting, this is a, a very rare, apparently apparently from sources I've spoken to, this is quite a, a rare Russian pressing of um, the Melancholy EP, and there's not many. Not many around, so that's pretty cool to have that. And I like where it's got the gold logo instead of the silver logo. It's pretty cool. I still want to get myself um, a regular, a regular European copy, and obviously a numbered copy at some point. But they elude me. They elude me so much, guys. Um, Frankenstein single, probably one of the rarest items um, in my collection. Uh, it's so hard to find, uh, but it's not expensive when it does pop up. Um, I paid six dollars for this on eBay. Uh, Chuck was actually quite handy in, um, in finding, uh, finding it for me, and it popped up on uh, on the American eBay, and uh, he linked me it, and I basically just bid six, you know, bid six dollars, and there we go, I won it. Um, yeah, uh, extremely rare. It doesn't come with a cover, but um, it comes with a disc with Frankenstein, and it comes with the um, back back artwork, which promotes a tour of Jewish prison. Never happened. You can 9/11, but. Such as uh, such as tragedies and stuff, you know, um, it's a bit bad. But yeah, Frank's on EP. I hunt it down though. It's well worth hunting down. It's it's really an anomaly there. Like it's really, you know, it's really historical in terms of it. It promotes a tour that never happened, and that's really cool to see. And it's hard to find, man. Like hunt it down. It's, it's great. A bit zoom in. You're gonna see my fucking camera reflection though. God damn it. Frankenstein EP or single, whatever. Horror show on the jaw case. Huzzah, yay. Everybody loves horror show. Duke of Gods jaw case. One of the worst collection, uh, one of the worst best of collections ever put to disc. Uh, best of and dams. Uh, I just I just don't think it's um, a very good collection. It's got great songs on it, but I think they're missing a lot from that. And, and the booklet is too thick. To fit, so it's just been destroyed because it's just not 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 thin enough to actually fit. Uh, I do plan to get myself a new copy of this because it's bloody destroyed. But blessed and the damned. I've noticed that it's, it's a CD that people forget that came out, which is interesting. Uh, comment down below which artwork do you prefer? The angels' artwork. I see my my case is buggered. The angels' artwork or the demon artwork? Tell me, tell me down below which you prefer. I actually prefer the. Oh my god, this is falling. Pieces on me! Definitely gotta get myself a new one, guys. Definitely. Need to. Anyway, but I prefer the angel artwork, I think it just pops a bit more. But yeah, blessed than damned. Um, yeah, best of. I'm such a major passion for you. Doris Burden on Digipack. Uh, no, I keep saying Digipack, man. I need to stop. Jewel case, Glorious Burden on, in the jewel case. Um, it's the original uh, European one that I picked up when it came out. It doesn't have doesn't have green face on it, and it doesn't have the unplugged version of When an Evil Cries. So it 
it kind of is the reason why I had to, you know, when I was younger, I had to pick up the, 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 the limited digipack version. But yeah, yeah, hot, um, got a burden on digi. Uh, I keep fucking up, man. Anyway, yeah, glorious burden in digi in in in, in dual case. Fucking Jason, fucking do do it right, yeah. Yeah. Over to the wicked dual case version, which is a very odd one. It's got some really strange bonus tracks. Uh, people claim that it might be a um, a bootleg. Some people say it's a Japanese release. Some people say it's like an Asian release. I don't really know, but I don't care. I like the fact that it's got it's got a dual case version. I think it's cool. I like hard cases, man. They just make it cool. And the disc is really nice. I like I like the art because it's more darker and evil, which is quite cool. I like it. I like it a lot. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Probably Armageddon. Uh, that was really weird. Super dual cases that no one really likes. Uh, I do believe it's like a bootleg from somewhere, like a Thailand bootleg, but it's something I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's something. Yeah, I, I own it really cool uh, two disc Framing Armageddon from Scarecrow Records that compiles of Framing Armageddon I don't know how this opens Framing Armageddon oh sod it Framing Armageddon and Overture of the Wicked in, 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 one, in one case on two discs so yeah it's pretty great pretty great to have that kind of oddity there Crucible Man in the dual case, regular one disc because you know. Well, I didn't tell you that was a two disc, but there is. So yeah, I got the one disc, regular version, and there's also a Scarecrow Records two disc version, my, and it comes with a little poster. Uh, it compiles of the album Crucible Man and the EP I Will Come Among You. So it's really cool. I'll hump that down, guys. It's really good. Festivals of the Wicked, uh, probably the worst live album they put out. The DVD is not so, not better, not any better. But yeah, um, it jumps across different shows from different years of, you know, from uh, Match Return to in the years eight and Tim's Tim's portion in 2007 during the Framing tour and stuff. But yeah, it's not that great. I don't think that's very good. I think the performances are some of the worst they could have actually chosen. So unfortunately, I don't like that very much. Uh, Dystopia 5 Songs EP, Jewel Case, really cool to have this, um, yeah, just cool little collectible. Yeah, again, another um, I Step Dystopia 2 disc from Scarecrow Records, um, it compiles of uh, the album, Dystopia, and a bonus disc, but the thing that makes me scream at these Scarecrow Records are bootlegs, is that it doesn't have a track listening for disc 2. So I don't know what's on it, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's the same as um, the the other uh, the other uh, bonus version that came out, which had which had a bonus disc, which is this one. So this is the Century Media Metal to the Master 25th Anniversary Edition. Um, it comes with a bonus disc, bonus disc, yeah, with a sleeve. The bonus discs, the bonus disc composed of live tracks, Wolf, Storm Rider, Dystopia, and Boiling Point. So I'm guessing that bonus disc is what's on the Scarecrow double disc release. I'm guessing they're the same. But yeah, uh, yeah, just Dystopia single dual case version. And I've got my ticket stump, uh, ticket, ticket stump from my very, very, very first Ice Surf show, and it was fucking awesome. And I loved, I loved it. It was like the, it was a night of heroes for me. It was amazing. Uh, yeah, 4th of November 2011. I had VIP and it was just it was the best night, man. So good. So I've, uh, I've kept the tickets there because it's just I have to immortalise that memory. Live Nation Curion, a great, um, a great uh, kind, of, kind of collection of songs to you know, just to really solidify Stu as the new guy, and he's great on this. It's just. From the oldies to the new ones, he just he just kills on them. It's fantastic. So yeah, the DVD, the DVD and Blu-ray is great as well. But yeah, this is the whole show, two and a half hour show on, on disc. So yeah, uh, it's a two disc. I think it's, yeah, it's two discs. Great, fucking great. Plague of Babylon. I have a sealed copy because I have no reason to open it because I listen to stuff on vinyl. But 
yeah, Blades of Babylon, sealed jewel case. Once again, Scarecrow Records, come back once again, because I have a Plagues of Babylon Scarecrow Records release, which I like the artwork, because it's just a zoomed in on, on Seth's face, I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, I, it's probably my favourite my favourite copy of, of Plagues, because the artwork looks awesome, I think it's just awesome, when it's just Seth's face, being all angry and evil, and I love the discard as well, this discard to kick ass, so yeah. Plagues of Babylon, Scarecrow Records version, and obviously my last CD is, of course, uh, incorruptible uh, regular jewel case because uh, we didn't we didn't get the uh, digipack over here in the UK, but I will hunt that down eventually and, and get that at some point. But yeah, incorruptible. Oh, I'm tired, guys. I told you it's gonna be a long one. Jeez, definitely is gonna be a long one. I'm gonna move on to cassettes, guys, because this should be quite easy, really. Alright, cassettes, let's kick this off with the uh, oh, Holy Grail. Um, I am one of the 1000s. I have uh, Enter the Realm on cassette, and uh, according to sources, I got it very cheaply at only $80. So happy about it. It's just, I played it once, it sounds amazing uh, after all these years. It's in great, it's in great condition. So happy to own it, man. Uh, when John comes to the UK again, um, he, he, he's going to have to have him sign it for sure. Twice, I want him to sign it on the J card and on the cassette, so it's going to be kick off. Subtitled on cassette, American artwork. Yeah, standard. I don't like the way the artwork is like, got letterboxing, but what you can do. But much superior, in my opinion, the European artwork. It just looks much cooler on cassette there. Badass, you can see the reflection on my goddamn camera. My phone, really. I'm filming this on the phone because I'm, I'm, I'm poor. But yeah, anyway, I'm not really. But yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah, soft titled on European artwork on cassette. European Flying Frog artwork on Night the Storm Rider, awful artwork on cassette. Sounds great though, it still sounds, it's still my, my very album, so yeah, awesome. Night the Storm Rider. American artwork, um, mine's sealed. I'm pretty happy about it being sealed, it's pretty kick ass. So, yeah, awesome. Burnt offerings on cassettes. A lot of these cassettes, guys, they're Polish releases, so uh, they're from um, Metal Mind Records that put these out back in the day. So, yeah, Dark Song Days of Purgatory. Something with this way comes. Also signed by John Schaefer, so happy about that. He signed out the Plague's Tour VIP. Well happy to get that signed. Awesome. Horror show. Cute little horror show. Melancholy EP. Tribute to the Gods, sealed, and it also features the Into the Realm demo as well. So it's pretty cool. Uh, if you can see, it says uh, Enter the Realm as well, so yeah, uh, it's like a double, it's all in one tape as well, so pretty cool. Very, very hard to find, man, this is so hard to find. And uh, Glorious Burden on cassette, um, this happens to be a bootleg, a very well presented bootleg, I think the artwork and everything is really cool, but the, the cassette sounds absolutely atrocious, it sounds like it's been you know the pitch has been put up like a couple of semitones and it just sounds really bad and it keeps keeps kind of kind of like fluctuating between between the uh like, like you know semitones so it just sounds really bad um don't buy it it's extremely expensive on ebay i paid silly money for this cassette and it's a bootleg so i don't recommend it but um, it's in my collection anyway so whatever uh, yeah glorious burden on the cassette quick interjection here i forgot to get out my Alive and Athens cassette, so yeah. I also have Alive and Athens cassette, so two, two tape cassettes, so yeah. Back to, back to the video. So we move to, move to box sets, box sets for now. So I've got the Plagues of Babylon uh, deluxe box set. Comes with the uh, really cool hip flask. 
with a set lovely face on it. There we go. I've actually never used this, so that's quite interesting. Um, comes with some cool little magnets, fridge magnets. Or oh, one fridge magnet. Uh, a deluxe kind of like digi book version of uh, Plates of Babylon uh, mine is signed by everybody except the drummer so Stu Block, Luke Appleton, John Schaefer and Troy Seeley signed mine uh, John Depp was there but he didn't play on it so why should I have him sign it but yeah really happy about that it comes with a bunch of postcards as well it did come with a um, postcard it did come with a uh, wristband, but I think I believe I've used it, and I think I've lost it somewhere. But yeah, Place of Babylon box set. Also, I have the Dystopia box set, uh, recent, uh, recently acquired actually. I think I paid a bit too much for it, but I wanted it. Um, yeah, it comes with the album as normal, but this one's just a regular album. I just, just left it there. Um, cool belt buckle. I know. Uh, Adam Mortis is after this belt, belt buckle. Uh, you're gonna have to swallow your pride, dude, and actually pick up this box set at some point, man. I know you're strapped for cash at the moment, but yeah, that belt buckle is literally cool. Uh, it's got a really cool dystopia patch as well. Dystopia coaster, coffee and mugs and stuff. A set of uh, badges and a lighter, which mine's in bad shape. I did buy this. It was in. It was a uh, second hand, so I don't know whether this has been used. But yeah, it's seen it has seen better days for sure. It's not the best of condition. Um, I don't smoke, so I don't need really a lighter. But it looks like someone's used it heavily. Used this, and I think they've just ruined it a little bit. But yeah, box of the wicked box set comes with the half of the. Um, over the over, over to the Wicked EP, uh, I Walk Among You EP, Throw Me On Mageddon and Crucible of Man. It also comes with, oh, I'll drop that. It also comes with a cool bonus CD, which comes, uh, which uh, comes with unreleased tracks. Uh, preferably the main the main track that made me pick this up was the uh, re-recorded version of Charge to Keep by Matt Barlow. As far as I'm aware, this is the only way to own that song physically on a disc, uh, which is fucking cool. So that's probably the only reason I bought this so yeah it's going up in price guys so I do recommend hunting it down when you can it's, it's going up to silly money now I was actually fortunate to pick it up when it came out so I got it for a reasonable price box of the wicked uh, I have two copies of the Dark, the Dark Genesis box set um, I, think I, would have, I would have had three um, but my original copy was beaten to shit and I just gave it gave it to someone at the end of the day. Uh, one of these, I can't tell you which one I've forgotten ages ago, but one of these is the misprint, is a misprint copy where the, uh, the artwork on the disc doesn't, does not correspond to the, um, to the artwork that's on the actual, uh, doesn't correspond to the music that's actually on the discs. So one's a misprint version and one's the actual correct version so I thought um, I'm gonna have both of them because it's they're, 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 like, one's an oddity um, there's not many of them about um, I think it, you know, only a batch of them were, were made before they realised the error so yeah uh, Dark Genesis box set oh my god look at everything The last box set I do own is the Slave to the Dark box set. It uh, comes with all the Century Media albums pre, pre Glorious Burden. So um, it's pretty damn cool to have. Only 5,000 in the world. Um, I have number 4018. Um, the albums actually have a cool, uh, a cool vinyl look on the discs, they even look like mini vinyls, even their packaging. Um, from what Chuck told me when he was in, at the Cincinnati show, they were they were um, selling more of these for about 
So if you're itching to get one, I would get one quick because from what I, from what Chuck told me, there wasn't many left. So um, and they're sealed ones, and I kind of want a sealed copy. Uh, I paid stupid money for this one, but I'm happy to own it. You know, it's something physical that they put out that I just have to own automatically. Have to own it. Uh, so yeah, Save to the Dark, great box set. Uh, yeah, great box set for diehard fans. You know, like from really hardcore fans. I, I would. If you're just a casual fan, you've already got these albums. I kind of wouldn't recommend getting this uh, personally because you're just rehashing your ground. But as a collector, it also comes with the uh, Alive and Athens DVD as well. So as a as a collector, it's just I had to own it, man. So yeah, save for the box set. Quickly do some promos. Um, yeah, uh, Rock Hard magazine put out a. Uh, promo like various artists CD um, that has Peacemaker on it by Ice Death. Um, they they happened to it features the entirety of the Plagues of Babylon artwork, which I thought was interesting. I just thought it was really cool to have a little promo like that that actually features the whole artwork. It's pretty cool to have the single disc promo version. Uh, of Live in Athens, it features the entirety of disc one, which is cool, uh, which is quite ironic now because I've got the one disc and two discs and three disc versions of Live in Athens, so that's pretty cool to have. The Suffolk This Way Comes promo, yeah, uh, I'm looking to get John Sinus at some point because it's just awesome. There's a, there's a two disc version, uh, there, sorry, there's a two song version out there. Um, so that's that's really expensive. I've tried to. I'll, 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 I want to get that as well. And there's a version as well with the with the actual something wicked artwork on it, which I want, which is also expensive. Metal Hammer Greece. Uh, they put out a uh, collection of Ice Earth songs on a disc. Um, apparently, it's uh, compiled by John Schaefer. Uh, John John let us know in our interview on the podcast that they, this, that was not the case. They just gave him a list of songs like you approve of those and he's just like, yeah, whatever. So it's a cool collectible to have. I think it actually has a really decent collection of songs, one song per album. Um, and like, it goes from, from recent to, to, to earliest. So I think it's actually a really cool uh, mix, mixed disc with multiple songs on it. I think it's really good. I'd say it's a better collection of songs than Less of the Dams. Uh, it's just really good. I think it's just a really cool collection. And called collectible because it was only available in Greece, so I had to import mine. Uh, paid twelve dollars, so I would, uh, I would I would recommend picking this up if you're a, if you're a diehard fan. And last but not least, uh, Dante's Inferno. Uh, some guy was actually uh, some guy on our YouTube was actually asking about this. Can you get it on disc? I said yes, because you can. And uh, it was on the 2011 Dystopia tour. Uh, is the re-recording with Stu, Stu Block on vocals? Um, they they are getting silly expensive now, guys. So I would I would recommend I would recommend hunting this down and try to get it as cheap as possible. Considering I paid like six dollars for mine on the tour, and now you're looking at about eighty five, ninety dollars for them. I'm thinking it's a bit ridiculous, especially when you're featuring only two songs and both songs are the same, and one's just a raw mix. That is a bit ridiculous asking price for this, I think. Um, it's a great re-recording, I love this re-recording. But $90 is ridiculous when they only originally sold for about six. So yeah, try it, try to get, if you're gonna, if you're hunting this down and wanna get it cheap, really haggle the fuck out of sellers because they will try to get the highest, the most money out of you for this because it's hard to get now. But yeah, don't let them fucking rip you off guys, man. Like, ask for a decent price and not to piss you off because it's just not fair on, on collectors. That's my very small collection of promos there, guys. DVDs, guys. Alive in Athens, the DVD. Um, I remember when this came out, I was super excited for this uh, when it was announced. Um, a bit ho-hum, really. A bit ho-hum. It misses a lot of songs on there. Um, the video footage is not good at all, really. Um, John Schaefer really encourages people not to pick this up. He thinks it's a horrible cash grab. Um, but yeah, I, I own it, but that was my vinyl that fell off the table, 
shit. Anyway, what I was saying, yeah, I've, I've, uh, I own it, and um, I don't regret owning it because it's physical, I need it. Um, uh, in fact, I own it twice. I have this uh, sealed copy, nice and sealedy dealedy, and uh, it's got the hype sticker on it as well. It's pretty cool to have that sealed. Um, so, yeah, got that. Uh, Gettysburg DVD, two disc version, obviously it's only two discs. Uh, it's got a really cracking, really good um, uh, John Schaefer interview from 2004. I would say if you're a hardcore fan, pick it up. But um, I, 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 I could go with that, I suppose, but because it's physical, I have to have it because I'm a fan, so unfortunately. But yeah, uh, Gettysburg DVD. Festivals of the Wicked. I don't think it's very good at all. Uh, the Tim Owens show is in particular pretty bad. Uh, maybe had a bad day because he's incredible vocals on, on studio, but for some reason he just didn't sound very good on on this. Uh, the match shows are too similar to put them both on there. They should have only put one maybe, but yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. I've got the limited edition box version. It comes with a flag and it comes with a CD as well. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, i probably show you the flag, it's just the artwork is set, I can't be asked to unfold it guys, but you know, it's just, the, it's just that artwork on, on the flag basically. And last but not least, I've got a Love Nation Curie in the Blu-ray, really cool, one of my, you know, you know when this came out I pre-ordered it on fucking everything, you know, Blu-ray, vinyl and, and CD, so, killer, love it. Right, as my vinyl keeps falling over, we're going to talk about vinyls now. Vinyl. Um, first up is my holy grail, which is uh, John Schaefer was kind enough to send me this uh, as a thank you for what we do on the podcast and support the band's um, test pressing of uh, Night of the Storm Rider. It is uh, signed by the man on the sleeve and on the on the actual record there, so that's this is my fuck. I literally lost my mind, guys. Um, get this. Uh, there is an unboxing video on the Facebook group, the podcast Facebook group. So, if you want to see me literally lose my mind, feel free to watch that man. Like, I literally lose my mind. Crazy talk. I actually lose my mind madly. <sighs> Sorry, this is a really bad way. Um, I've got a uh, Two copies of the demo sides, um, single uh, demo version, seven inch. Uh, one one I bought, one I got from VIP on the Plagues tour, and the other one, uh, John Schaefer kindly sent to me. So yeah, thanks John for that. That was cool. Um, this version in particular, it's been boxed away. And it's actually pretty. Uh, the, the disc is in mint condition, but the the sleeve is a bit buggered. But um, I am looking to trade this with somebody, so if you've got something that I could, if you think that I might need or want Ice Earth related, um, I'm definitely looking for, to trade this, so hit me up on YouTube message, on, 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 you know, on YouTube or or on uh, on Facebook and uh, we can maybe come, come, come to a deal with something or trade with something, so yeah, cool man. Cool guys, um, <clears throat> Plagues of Babylon, uh, three disc gold vinyl uh, box set. It's still sealed because I don't need it to be open because I've got it in a different format. Or well, I've got it on vinyl as, again. Well, I've got it twice. But yeah, it's really cool. I love I love the fact that it's just mint and I got it really cheap as well. I'm really happy about getting this. It's awesome. So yeah, that that's one of those things, guys. I'm in that breath here. Incorruptible art book. It's really cool. I love this art book. Features a uh, yeah, ten-inch uh, vinyl. This vinyl in particular is the same as the plague one, which is a uh, I can't get them out, guys. Which is gold. I've got the golden version. It looks awesome in gold. I'm on that orange vinyl that's on the tour at the moment, but I'm not in America, so I can't get it. It's so annoying. I have this interesting bootleg. Um, 
It's a really actually quite interesting bootleg actually. It's a, it's a bootleg of Enter the Realm demo from 1988 and the early Purgatory stuff, which is the reason I bought it really. Um, I, I quite like it, I think it sounds really cool. Uh, this is in particular is in a really nice, um, if I can get it out properly. In a nice, uh, nice blue vinyl. Really cool though. Um, it's proper bootleg. Um, there are quite a few about. Uh, you can you probably find them on eBay quite easily. They do pop up from time to time. There's a black version and a blue version. They are numbered. There's 200 of the two available. I've got number 34 of this. Uh, I did have the black one, but I did send it to Bill Owen uh, in the end. So. Bill Owen, if don't, people don't know, Bill Owen used to be, uh, was in Purgatory back in the day. So yeah, uh, bootleg. I also have the, obviously, um, I'm pretty much have all the albums on, on, on vinyl. Uh, Self-titled, I do have it. I can't wait to get it out, guys. It's just too much of a pain. Uh, I have it in green vinyl. So if you guys want to see what the colours of my vinyls I've got, uh, I do have a um, a photo album on my personal Facebook, which is just my completely my iStuff collection. It's out of date. They need to be added. Photos need to be added to it, but you can see the majority of my coloured vinyl of the uh, Century Media re-releases. Most of the older records like this are the Century Media 2015 re-releases. So I've got the subtitled in green. This is the uh, original pressing of Night of the Storm Rider, uh, European artwork, Flying Frog. Um, it's really had seen a, seen better days. The spines worn away, and it's obviously on, on regular black vinyl. But yeah, um, just, I, I, just, I found it cheap, so I just picked it up. It's cool to have. We can get John to sign it and stuff. So yeah, coolios, coolios, boyos. 2015 re-release of Night of the Storm Rider on vinyl. Uh, I have this vinyl, this vinyl is in blue, guys. Blue vinyl. Oh, like an old man. Ben Offerings 2015 reissue in red vinyl. Again, 2015 reissue Dark Saga vinyl in yellow. 2015 reissue Days of Purgatory in orange. 2015 reissue of something we this way comes in regular black vinyl. 2015 reissue of Horror Show in silver vinyl. The original pressing and only pressing of Tribute to the Gods in black vinyl. Uh, really hard to find, really expensive, but glad I got it in the collection. Uh, you'll find that the next three SPV vinyls are just all, they're not, they haven't been had a, uh, a reissue, so they're only, they've only had one run, and they're hard to find, and they only have black vinyls. So I've got Glorious Burden, uh, in, yeah, two, uh, two, two LP black, Throwing Armageddon, again 2LP in black. And Crucible of Man, 2LP in black. I've got Dystopia, I do believe Dystopia only got one pressing, so this is in black as well. Uh, this is actually the first vinyl I ever got for Iced Earth. It was the first one, my friend got it for me. Uh, my friend Fraser, you listening, you know who you are. Uh, my friend Fraser bought this for me for uh, Christmas that year, and it's just like awesome. Uh, and it's ironic, I, I never got a vinyl player until like seven years, no, six years later, but yeah. Um, it remained sealed for a while, but obviously I've opened it since and played it. Stopia! Live Nation Curion uh, in dark blue vinyl. Plague's EP, I'm really happy with this one because it's amazing. Uh, Plague's EP, um, it was available on the tour only, limited to 1,500 copies in blood red vinyl. Um, mine is signed by the band, 
and it's still sealed. But they they tore a they, they tore a hole in the in the cellophane and signed it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the signatures. Sort of, kind of see it. But yeah, Plague EP. It's getting harder and harder to find. It's going up in price, but damn, it's it's well worth getting. Mine's signed, so I'm real happy about it. Regular plates of Babylon gatefolds, silver vinyl. Uh, I'll say compared to the CD, the CD sounds fucking shit. This sounds amazing on vinyl. It sounds huge. That snare drum is fucking massive. It's awesome. It's awesome, guys. I recommend the way to listen to it is vinyl. Regular gatefolds, uh, incorruptible vinyl. Um, this one is actually cool. Uh, this is this is a, the clear vinyl, so it's see-through, not transparent, clear. Um, this was li this is limited to a hundred copies worldwide, so I jumped on it as quickly as possible um, and got mine, and I'm really happy I did. Uh, the the fourth side of the uh, vinyl is is got uh, it's got the set face etched into it. You see the set face there? Yeah, it's sort of like on the on the fourth disc. It's like got an etching, and it's really cool. And the music's only on three sides, but yeah, the to do 100 copies clear vinyl, so happy to own it. Last but not least, but probably the coolest, my seat is broken, probably the, the, the coolest uh, vinyl I've got is the Alive in Athens box set. It contains a poster signed by John Schaefer and five LP set picture disc. As you can see, it's just, it's just amazing, right? It's just the most beautiful of collector's pieces. And before I picked, before I found this on eBay, I didn't know this was a thing. And I was in the midst of like my vinyl collecting, and uh, this popped off on eBay, and I, I offered the guy a hundred dollars for it, and he took it. So I'm really happy to like. The al the album artwork on these on these vinyl just look so great and so vivid and so colourful. I I love it, guys. It just looks amazing. It just looks awesome. It's so good. Definitely one of my favourite. Uh, as a collector, one of my favourite pieces in my collection for sure. And it's getting harder and harder to find, and it's getting more, more expensive as time goes on. Uh, me and Chuck of the podcast we're hoping that Central Media. We'll do a proper regular black 180 gram re-release of this, and so we can listen to it and actually see it. So it sounds good. To God, that you know, a lot of people don't like picture discs, and I'm one of them. I don't really like picture discs in terms of their sound. Um, but yeah, uh, that gives it on for my more or less official shit. Uh, let's talk about some bootlegs, shall we? I have uh, a bootleg CD, which is a. Uh, Live in Paris 2002 on the on the uh, on the horror show tour cycle, um, I found this at Blasco Festival at like a like a stands and it was like ten ten quid. Um, the only reason I bought it is because it has Curse of Sky with Matt singing it and I had to hear that. The set list is actually quite nuts. Like I'd lose my mind if they played the set list like that over here at some point, but. That set this is amazing. John did say that the actual that tour cycle would have been great for a DVD, but um, Century Media disagreed. Didn't didn't agree that DVD was a burgeoning uh, media outlet, so they didn't. They chose not to do it. So that's unfortunate because that seems to be a really cool um, point of the of the band's career that I think should have should have been documented. Uh, I got a Blu-ray bootleg of a. Um, Show from 2014 at the First Avenue in Minneapolis, USA, uh, during the Plagues tour. Um, it's it's fairly fairly well um, shot. Um, it's obviously fan shot, but I think it's uh, not too bad to watch. It's, it's one of the better ones that I own. Uh, but yeah, uh, that one. I'm gonna keep my favourites to the end. Plagues of Istanbul, uh, not very good, a bit, the footage isn't very good, it's on two discs, uh, could have been better, uh, not great. 
Mr. Hyde in Paris 2002, fucking awful. It's it's a really bad bootleg. I know bootlegs is hit or miss on what you're going to get quality wise, but this is horrible. It sounds bad. It looks bad. It's just it's just not a good bootleg at all. So I don't recommend that one. Wolves come out at night in Montreal 2002. Uh, not a bad one. I wouldn't say it's awful. Uh, I do like the artwork there. The artwork's pretty cool. But um, yeah. Uh, it's okay. It's an okay uh, horror show tour, tour, tour uh, show, and I have the um, a show from 2004 uh, with Tim Irons on the Glorious Burden tour. Um, yeah, fucking great, great bootleg live show. Uh, Tim is on point. He sounds amazing. Really good show. Yeah, it's really good. And my two favourite ones I have. That I don't one the two that I really don't regret owning, which is uh, live and fucking 2011 Matt's Matt Barlow's final show, um, a show that I believe should have been a official DVD release as it was pro shot at fucking. So I don't understand why they didn't really want to. Social media didn't pull it out. It's really strange, but um, or SP Feel or whoever was who was who was uh, under contract for Ice Death stuff. But but like this is just the end of an era. And I feel that it should have had a had a official release, which it didn't, which is a shame. But yeah, um, it's a great great bootleg DVD. Uh, I don't endorse bootlegs, of course, but when it's something that could obviously easily be put out officially, um, I had to own this. I don't regret owning it because it's something. It's it's, it's end of the era. It's, it's it's a big point of the band's history, and something that should be basically immortalised. And it's actually a very good watch. The set this is really. Something wicked and dark saga heavy, with a couple, um, with with maybe like I think a couple of Gorish Burden tracks and um, horror show track in there. They they play Jack in this is awesome. So yeah, um, they got that. That's amazing. And I have this, uh, which is a Purgatory bootleg. Uh, it comes with two shows in it. It comes with a show in some club, in 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 Tampa. Um, it's really good, and it comes with a show in their in their apartment, which is fucking awesome. Uh, the band was really good. I, I I've always liked the poetry stuff. Um, John Shaver's like six, like seventeen in, in in one of the videos. He's really young, but uh, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna if this this is on this is on the YouTube. These two shows are on YouTube. Adam Mortis did upload them for people to see. So if you're interested to hear. You know, see live footage of really, really young guys from Purgatory playing some heavy metal. Then I recommend check, check hunting this down on, on YouTube and watching some footage. I'm sure Adam Ortiz will share a link to where he can find you can find footage of this. But it's really good. That brings us to the end. Almost. Uh, I want to. I wanted to um, show off my T-shirts and stuff like that because I've got a bunch of shit. You see I've got an Ice Death beanie, I've also got another one, but I bought this on the Plague Score, this one, uh, but it's shrunk in the wash, so I bought another one, which I'm wearing, uh, so this is really shrunkered, shrunkered, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's just a shrunk beanie, but yeah, got that. I've got the official Ice Death shirt, a cargo shirt, I'll show the logo there. The official cargo shirt. It did have sleeves, but I cut the sleeves off because this this is going to be the the where I'm going to start my um, decade ice surf jacket, which is going to be the jacket that I'm going to be so I'm going to be doing the putting the patches on. But yeah, um, I thought it's only only fair because it's official, so it makes sense. So yeah, that's the jacket. I have a burnt offerings back patch, which I'm not going to use. So. Uh, if anyone's going to trade, I'm willing to trade this with somebody, so if anyone wants that, that's cool. We can figure something out, so let me know in the comments below, guys. I have a very odd thing here, because I, I saw it at, at a festival, and it was just like, I need it right now, which is an Iced Earth towel. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but uh, a towel, man. Like, yes, all day long. Never used it, though. Never used it, but... Hell yes, I'm gonna buy a nice dirt towel. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so cool though. I like it a lot. Such an odd thing to have as as band merch though. So odd, but it exists. It exists, of course. Now I'm gonna go through my T-shirts. Got some recent ones here, which is the uh, 
Great Heathen Army t-shirt. Great. I, I love that. The artwork is incredible. I love it. I love the red and gold of the logo as well. It looks amazing. One thing I love about iSurf is their, their t-shirt designs are awesome. And they're, they're, they're very good with their t-shirt designs. Obviously, the what t-shirt I'm wearing is the Set Destroyer shirt, but it's an EMP exclusive. And it's like an all-over shirt. It's got a fake print there. But yeah, I'm wearing this one, so I thought I'd just quickly show you. Um, I've got the Clear Lace shirt. Quite recent. Quite a recent shirt. Love it. So good. Kind of very, very glorious burden. Very glorious burden vibes from it, though. But the probably because it's Civil War stuff, but love it. It's awesome. Awesome t-shirt. Also has a back print. Awesome. Awesome song as well, man. One of the best songs on, on Incorruptible, for sure. <clears throat> I got this t-shirt. Um, it's a UK Crucible Hammerfest shirt when I came to the UK in 2010. Uh, I am going to be using that artwork. I'm going to be cutting it out and using it as a back patch for my jacket. I love the, I love the image of set there with the British flag over his shoulder, it just looks awesome. I have the Reckoning t-shirt. It says, don't tread on me on the back. A plain plagues uh, with just a set's face on it from the plagues artwork. And on the back it's got a zombie with the Ice Earth logo on the back. Pretty cool. I like to wear it quite minimal with just the just a set, just the set's face there. I thought it was pretty killer. Speaking of plagues, Babylon. Plagues of Babylon t-shirt. Um, this is actually a tour t-shirt, this is actually when I was on the tour, I went on to, I went on to saw them the, on the Plagues tour, and that's the uh, back print there with all the tour dates, I'm surprised they even fit them all in there, Jesus. Uh, I've got a kind of like um, Days of Poetry inspired shirt, it's really good. Um, and the back print is uh, Fat Poses, nice stuff, remastered artwork, self-titled t-shirt. I love that, that's awesome. I do like that on a t-shirt, that looks great. So, it's all good. It's all good, guys. I have my uh, Dystopia VIP, which is what I was given for VIP. It's got the VIP on the back there. It's pretty cool. I've got a Dystopia long sleeve. It's got long sleeves there. It's got long sleeves and it's got the tour dates on the back. So yeah, we'll have, uh, like, I like myself some long sleeves, man. I want that. I want that, you know, three decades strong long sleeve on the Ice Earth merch store. Hell yes, please. I also have a, <clears throat> I've got a lot of t-shirts, guys, fuck. Like, uh, Dark Saga. It's got an awesome back print on the back as well. I'll just show you the front again, because I think I'm not showing properly. Awesome. Awesome Dark Saga shirt. One of my favourite shirts, of course, because it's something wicked this way comes. Great, great shirt. Love it. Love that artwork as well. I got what they call the set set destroyer shirt. I got that from the MTV Headbangers Ball Tour in 2016. I came to the UK. I do like that artwork. It's really cool. Uh, my first, uh, my first, uh, the first incorruptible shirt that I got, which is the it's like this one, but it's an EMP exclusive. But it's got the incorruptible artwork on it. it looks awesome. I love this shirt. And it's got the raven wing artwork on the back with cool kind of like star pentagram thing. More t-shirts guys, uh, I have the Horror Show t-shirt. Uh, one of my favourite t-shirts actually, it's really comfortable, really made well, it's got an awesome back print on it as well. For the album tracks. Do you know I know some people are after, which I'm really happy to still have, which is the Alive in Athens uh, t-shirt. One of my favourite artworks from the band, I love it, I love it so much. And on the back it's got the track listing on the back. Last but not least, I have my uh, Plagues of Babylon uh, VIP Plague Store VIP shirt. It's got the uh, Ice Earth, Ice Motherfucking Earth VIP Club 2014. And on the back, it's got a really awesome image of Cthulhu with the Ice Earth logo. I said last and not least, but I actually meant this was last and not least, which is my uh, Plagues of Babylon hoodie that I picked up when I was there as well. So, yeah. Uh, I have a couple of miscellaneous items to show you guys quickly. Which is this really cool uh, messenger bag. I got this on the uh, 2014 Plagues Tour as well, VIP 
um, as soon as it showed that it had the bag, I was like, I need this bag. So I was really happy to get this, this awesome bag. Uh, and for Christmas, my good friend Adam, uh, his name's Adam Beaton, he's not on Facebook, but he's a really close friend of mine. He got me the really cool horror show promotional playing cards that were only came out in Germany. They're still sealed. I'm so happy to, like, I, I don't know, you know, what I would do with them, but it's a really cool, just like random item to have in my collection. Another interjecture, I forgot to, uh, uh, during the miscellaneous items, I forgot to show off my Eister Deadly Smedley drumstick, completely signed by the band, uh, the Dystopia tour lineup, touring lineup. So Troy Seeley, uh, Stu Block, Freddie, I think it's Freddie Fidelis, I think. Or it could have been Luke Appleton. I don't know, I can't remember, but yeah. My Ice Death drum kit, uh, drumstick, should I say. So yeah, uh, back to the video. So yeah, that was my Ice Death collection. It's very vast. There's a few bits that... I didn't have to show like my you know VIP lanyards and stuff like that, which I just don't have. Uh, there's a lot of T-shirts that I don't have anymore, which I you know I, they either grow, I, you know they became too small, or they just or just became just really tatty and stuff. But yeah, my stuff collection is getting bigger by the day. Um, I have started to hunt down the Japanese presses, so I do have a few of them coming in the post. So my you know by the time this video is up, the collection will be already be out of date, but. Um, but you know, compared to the first video of my collection that I made months ago, um, it is like obviously much, much you know faster now and much bigger now. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this feels long overdue now. But yeah, my current eye stuff collection. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about it and uh, where I, where I bought stuff from, where I found stuff, you know, be sure to comment down below. You know, feel free to ask those questions. Uh, hit you know, hit the like button. Subscribe to the Podcast and Stone channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified when we release new new videos because new videos are coming. We just wrapped up the girls, uh, the Crucible of Man uh, episode, so look forward to that. And you know, join our Facebook group at um, facebookcom group Podcast and Stone, uh, and be sure to be look out on our on our next uh, guest interview announcement coming rather soon. I'm losing my voice, guys. <clears throat> be sure to to, to, to basically look out for our next guest announcement for the, for the podcast so yeah uh it's all good man it's a, it's a great time to be an ice Durf fan it is what i've been saying for a while the ice Durf remains on since the scopia in my opinion since Stu joined the band the, the, you know the band has had just this new injection of fire to them and it's been incredible to be a fan uh, over these last you know six six or seven years in uh, with, with ice Durf. it's been incredible so see you next time guys see you later